Hey, what's going on guys? Justin here from OGN. So yes, we're playing some more Kills and Shadowfall Intercept today, the uh, co-op DLC. I'm playing on regular game on the market. Alright, so today I'm going to talk about the Medic, and again, I know I'm not playing as a Medic, I'm still playing as Assault. Um, I could not play as a Medic with the team I was with, but anyway, it's not all that important. Um, it's basically a mod, it's basically a similar version of the Support class on Multiplayer. Um, medic class is a medium range to a close range class. The abilities you have, um, you actually can put down two supply boxes at the same time. Um, it's very helpful. I usually just drop one down. At a time, sometimes you have, if you have a uh, sniper who's actually staying at the base, you can give him a box as well. But uh, it's just nice to be able to drop one box as soon as that one disappears. You can drop another box right away. So you always keep a constant supply of ammo for all your teammates. Um, you have something that's not in multiplayer or the campaign. It's called the heal drone. Now the heal drone is basically like a buddy drone. It floats around you and it's up for, let's say, two minutes or whatever. And then it has like a 30 second cooldown rate. The heal drone... About every 10 seconds or so, emits a pulse that'll heal you pretty much maybe 25% of your health, 30% of your health. And it also heals any teammates within the vicinity of the pulse, like 30% of their health. So it's a super helpful ability to have. Um, if you're going to play as a medic, I suggest you stick very close to the assault class. You're going to be wanna, you're going to want to heal him as he's capturing the points. It's like probably medic and assault go together really well. Um, the other ability you have, of course, is a revive drone, and it works the same with multiplayer. Your enemies get down, or your your teammates get down, you revive them, and you... If you're playing as a medic, you definitely want to try to revive your teammates, because when they um, respawn after 30 seconds, it costs... The overall points, it costs 50 points, so it deducts 50 points from the overall score. And if you have, let's say you have 0 points, or 30, or 40 points, and... Um, the enemy has two uplinks captured, when you die or whoever dies, they won't be able to respawn in whatsoever. And then if whoever the last one to die is, you lose. Um, your default weapon as a uh, medic is an e-stun grenade. Basically, what was in co-op, it's an, basically a stun grenade. Um, it'll temporarily shut down a turret, it'll destroy any shields, any stun drones, and it'll stun the uh, enemies for a certain amount of time. Usually like 10 seconds, 5 seconds. Your starting primary as a medic is a LS-12 SMG with the default hollow. It's a um, holographic sight. It's a, I think it's like a times 1.2 sight. The LS-12 SMG is basically that fully automatic weapon you have as an assault if you're playing multi multiplayer. It's the secondary, the, like the fully automatic pistol. According to the description, it's a um, SMG version of the LS-21 Vault. It's terrible. You're going to have a very hard time ranking up and getting past that to unlock your first unlockable, but once you do, the med class is going to get significantly easier. Um, the first unlock you unlock is a VC-30 Sickle with a dot laser sight, and it's probably the best gun you're going to use as a medic. Even when you unlock all the other ones, you're probably always going to fall back to this. It's super OP in co-op. You can get two or three kills just with one bullet if the group's tight enough. The second unlockable is an STA-25 Vlug with the ACOG sight. And that is a assault rifle. If you're playing multiplayer as an assault, you have already you already know this gun, you've already used it. Um, it's pretty decent. I noticed with this gun, you really go through the ammo very fast and you're constantly resupplying, which isn't a big deal because you have a supply box, but I still prefer the VC-30 over the damage. So the third weapon you're going to unlock is the LSR-44 Spore um, with the default ACOG style scope. You basically have a regular dot laser when you're using the fully automatic mode. You hit L1 and the ACOG style scope will pop up and you go into the charge mode. Same thing if you were playing campaign. It shoots half your magazine. It's 12 rounds per shot. Um, the Spore is good in the fully automatic mode. I don't really like it when you use the charge mode, the powerful single shot. It's not... It's not really worth it. You don't get like an explosive radius when you're using it. Um, not like if you were to use the LS-74s as the marksman. But the fourth unlockable you get, the last unlockable, is the LS-21 Vault with a dot laser. 
it's all right. It's it's a submachine gun. It's not all that great. Like I said, you're better off just sticking with the um, VC30 sickle. You can have a much easier time and a much better time playing and you get a much better score. Less deaths. Definitely the way to go. But that's pretty much it for the medic. Like I said, just a medium range, a close range class. Your primary objective is just to keep your team supplied, make sure people are getting healed, like your assault, and just make sure people are getting revived. No one's respawning, costing your team points. All right, guys, so in the next video, we're going to tackle the last class you can play as, which is the tactician. Nice scoring, team. You've captured another secure pick. Soldier reloads before combat. Forces inbound to multiple areas, team. Split up and keep those uplinks secure.
Must have fired a million bullets by now. Oh well, a few more. <laughs> I must have fired a million of them. Oh well, a few more. Team, you have enough for 
Click on the link at the end of this video to watch me playing some regular game on the Containment City. If you want to see some other content for Kills of Shadow Falls, such as a walkthrough, a collectible guide, a complete trophy guide, you can go to my channel where you can find my Kills of Shadow Falls playlist, or there's a playlist link at the end of this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, guys, to see when I upload new Kills of Shadow Falls videos, as well as first impressions, playthroughs, trophy guides, reviews, and a whole lot more on a bunch of other games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.